This is uh, based on uh, a polygenic risk score for coronary disease, for coronary artery disease. So the background is that we in genomics, we have data from, you can think of it as 10,000 GWAS studies. We analyze all of that data together, focusing on, on, in this case, coronary disease. We decide which of the steps across the genome to include in our polygenic risk score and how much to weight them. And then we take those scores, we kind of lock down the algorithm for the scores. We take that into a totally independent set of individuals in UK Biobank. And we use the health information in Biobank to learn for those individuals about their disease incidence at different ages. And the graph shows three curves. The red curve, are the so this is uh, men, but the men in um, the test set who have polygenic risk scores in the top 3%. And what it shows uh, as one moves across the picture is the increasing incidence of disease with age. You can see that for one of those men in the red group, their lifetime risk of coronary disease is about 40%. If you compare vertically, if you compare the red curve with the blue curve is the kind of middle 20%, the green curve is the bottom 3%. If you compare vertically, it speaks to relative risk. The men in the red group are a three-ish fold uh, more likely than average to have coronary disease. And if you compare horizontally, if you look at um, a man in his early 40s here in the red group, his risk of coronary disease is about the same as a typical man in his mid-50s. So people in the UK have talked about the idea of heart age, and it, it's a good way of getting across, a uh, simple and informal way of getting across the idea that, that men in this group are at substantially increased risk. In this case, if you were such a man, you might think about uh, adapting your lifestyle, uh, exercising more, losing weight, stopping smoking if you're a smoker. But there's also a potential clinical intervention through statins, uh, which is a way of, of reducing heart disease risk.